Hi everybody, I'm Mike McCrory and this is Would You Make It? So today's a big day. It's day six of the Busy Board project and it's also the final day. The main task for today is to wire up LED lights that are going to go inside behind this, the screens and a little bit of glue up and applying some finish and it'll be done. The best part is that baby Leo is going to come over later so that my wife and I can babysit him. So I'm really excited to see his reaction when we give the busy board to him. So let's get started. Before I get started on the LED lights, I have a few more components that I need to install on the front of the busy board. The light switch will be used to turn the LED lights on and off. And I have this piece of a tree branch and I'm going to sand off the lacquer finish and then I can glue it on top. And I'll just hold it in place with a couple of clamps. I've used spray adhesive on the backs of the photos. So there's one of Leo and mom and another one of Leo and dad. And that's it. So now I'm working on the other side of the board and it's time to work on the LED lights. So I've got this um, battery holder. This is one of the few things that I had to buy for this project, the battery holder and the LED strip lights. I'm just attaching it with epoxy and, and taping it down to hold it in place while I work on installing the LEDs. And I'll run a, a bead of wood glue around the edge, flip it over and then glue it in place. And that will add a fair amount of strength to the frame so I don't have to worry about it falling apart. And lastly, I have a screw in the faceplate that screws into the frame just to give it a little bit of extra security. And now I'll mark out the locations of the LED lights. I'm drawing two rectangles. One is in the location where the fireplace screen is on the front and the other one is where the pegboard is. The LED strips, they have an adhesive strip on the back and they have copper leaves every third light. So you can cut them in increments of three lights. So I've cut out six lights here. And on one end of the LED, the entire strip, there are a couple of leads, a positive and a negative. So I'm gonna use those to start, but everything else I'll have to solder together using little pieces of wire. One very important lesson that I learned, because I've never used LED strips lights before, is that in order for the solder to stick, you have to use flux paste. If you don't do that, you, you just can't get the solder to stick, or at least not with this brand. Now I want to isolate the positive and negative leads, so I'm going to put all the positives on one end and all the negatives on one end, with one exception, and that is between the first two strips, I need to link them so that I can move the negative uh, to, the other, to the other end of the strip. Put just a little bit of bead of solder on each of the copper leads where I intend to attach a wire. And now I'm connecting positive to positive. And now that I have the positive run to the other end of the strips, I can connect all the other positive leads together. And now on the same end where I started, I'm running the negative leads and attaching each of those. Now I've taped everything down to hold everything in place because I've read online that for some of these LED strips they, they tend to fall off over time. And I'm connecting the power wires and the other set of LED lights all together. And then I've soldered and taped it together. Now I'm back at the battery. This is a 12 volt battery that I'm using and I'm connecting the negative lead to the negative terminal of the battery. 
and just using a little bit of solder to make sure that it stays connected. And then I'm connecting the positive lead to the switch. And then I'll just give it a test and it works. I'm screwing the back into place. Um, I'm doing that by, by pre-drilling the holes and then I'll use a gimlet to thread the holes. I'm using screws so that the back can be opened whenever needed to change the batteries for the LED lights as well as the cordless phone. Leo just arrived, so I'm finishing this up just at the right moment. And the last thing to do is to add a little message on the back. After writing this with a pen, I used another coat of lacquer on the back just to seal it. And now let's take a tour. You can see the light switch and the LED lights, the gears. Sometimes they get a little stuck when turning because they're not fastened that tightly. The doorknob, the mirror, the little doors with the letters behind them. A little squash ball, a little rubbery ball. The knobs that my, my father made. Some keys, a cell phone with lots of buttons, and Leo loves pushing buttons, so that will get a lot of attention from him, I think. There are some leftover coasters from one of my recent projects. Open up this door and there's a photo of Leo and Mom. And then there's Leo and Dad in the bathtub. A little doorstop, spring doorstop, wheel from a bed frame, a piece of a tree branch so we can learn about growth rings, a spring, and some wire nuts of all different shapes and or colors and sizes. And there's a look at the stand from the back. And now this is the part we've all been waiting for. I'm going to set it up in the living room and then bring Leo to come and have a look. Come on down. Uh, what's this? He's a little bit apprehensive at first. But like I expected, he really likes the buttons on the cell phone. Doesn't care too much about mom, it just keeps closing the door on her. And he's finally discovered the LED lights. He's definitely a cutie. Well, that's it for the Busy Board project. I hope you enjoyed watching it and thank you for following along. If you liked this video, please click on the like button up above and please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. I've got a lot more videos coming for the rest of this year. So I gotta ask, would you make it?